Hello everybody, welcome back to K Kerbal Space Program. I was going to say KSP, but whatever. Kerbal Space Program, Making History, Expansion Pack, and this is episode number six, going to Midmiss and back. I can't wait, guys. This is one of the most exciting Hello. <laughs> How are you? But, if you've seen what we've done, we've gotten very far just by going to the moon and back twice. And we did it first with, I think, this one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so we built... There's the KSS. There's a, the core of it, at least. Because I might bring one to the moon. It might be a little better. But we are going to Minmus. This is now called, instead of Mun Rocket, it is called Moon Rocket 2.0. This can go to the Mun and back. And then dock. And then be built a new ship. Or new craft. And everything. And Alright, here we go. So you guys already seen the craft but I've upgraded the middle part to a full extra orange tube we are still using the mainsail some four wings we are using the wolfhound for the second stage I added another 360 fuel tank I made the tip of it black well the okay you get it the tips white but the whole thing's black anyway it's basically the same thing. I added a little bit more science and a better antenna, as you can see right here. So it will look a lot better. It will go a lot farther, which is always better. So this rocket, when I built it, was insanely like precise with everything. Um, just the first stage is so like ridiculous because literally we're gonna we're gonna go sit up on this building over here and we're gonna watch it take off because I'm gonna put this much time in getting a very good camera angle from right like we're watching it from the edge alright guys so let's hit T go full throttle and three two one launch like literally it is so dang slow at takeoff so slow but look at that moon do you guys see that moon that moon is just absolutely beautiful so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna wait till it hits a very good top speed of a lot um, because it is going so slow right now but the maximum uh, thrust to weight ratio with this entire fuel tank is three. So, and the top payload is actually 25 tons. So, three of these tanks and a mainsail can lift you 25 tons. That's basically how I build my rockets. Now that this is here, I'm taking a picture. Because, you know, this is the moon rocket. Okay, so, little delayed on the. Uh, turn but that's all right all right we got Jebediah and Bill we are not taking a uh, whatchamacallit we're not taking a scientist this time for one because I forgot for two He's in there already, so that <laughs> it, it kind of works out both ways. So I'm experimenting with that craft on Duna. So the next craft, maybe if I get five likes, I will actually go for Duna on my maybe on my next video. First, we have to we would have to send satellites first over there, and I don't know. We could just send a rover. How about, we'll do that. If I get five likes, or... Yeah, if I get five likes, I'll send a rover to Mars. 
or to Duna, whichever one you want to call it. I like Mars because it's better. <laughs> so this rocket is very slow, but you can see it kind of dragging down from the top of it. But that moon is just so... It's like there. I love it. It's like bam. Now I doubt we can find Minmus. Oh, there it is. There's Minmus, that little speck. That little speck of a... Uh, of a dot. That's where we're going. And of course you have the, how I do it, crazy re-entry or exit heating. But hey, it gets me to orbit and this rocket was specifically built for this reason. Like literally we actually have just a little bit of fuel left once we're done. So right there we're in orbit, we have 4.9 seconds, we have 160 delta V, 160 meters per second that we could gain off of it. So we're not going to decouple it yet, just yet. Well, let's go to the high altitude, we will be back space station, and just so you guys don't have to wait, I decided to be smart about this one, and put a escape pod up there in the first place where it should be <laughs> trying to make it as uh, fast forwarding as quick as possible just so it's not super boring okay so we got a couple of seconds here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to prograde we're gonna burn as much as we can right now until it's out and then we're gonna hurry up switch back decouple that engage the engine decouple that access weight and let's go alright we slid right through that was insane okay let's do full blast I know we're coming up on it quick. So that big waste of a tank is actually going to go down back to Earth, which is the best thing ever because that way we're not we're not putting a whole bunch of debris in our atmosphere. We have one giant one, which is the International Space Station, so, or the Kerbal Space Station. Oops, I said the International. My bad. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to change our inclination, because yeah, it is 6.0 degrees off. So we basically have to match, not Mun, but Minmus's line. And it's not that difficult, so we're going to go to Ascending Node, which is normal, which is just the triangle. And because this is descending, you want to go the opposite. So we're going to fast forward to about here, which looks like Europe area, or like Italy, I don't know, whichever one you would want to figure it as. So we're just going to do like a full burn and see where we're at see okay so we're moving it quite fast but it's we are we also are in a smaller orbit and we also have to take an advice for when we come back because when we come back is when it's going to be all jumbled up we're, we're probably coming in at like from here to here or something like that so let's do a burn let's flip this thing upside down not really that'd be kind of cool I know you can do it, but I don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> so now we're just going to do slight burns until we reach 0, 0.0 or NAN. Oop, okay, that's fine. It's still at 0, 0.0. It's over there now. 
Uh, I wanted to just click you there. It's at 0, 0.0, 0, 0.0. Okay, so now we can get rid of that, and we can find our target on the big map on Earth. There it is, Minmos. So what we want to do is we want to leave at the horizon of it. So um, just how we left for the moon. Very nice, very quick and simple. And, oh, that's right. I'm going to stop, go here, and make sure that we can get electric charge right now because that was one of my issues that I just didn't do last time because I fast forwarded so quick. And hey, I mean, I guess it works, right? It should work. But once we come back and we go to the International Space Station, look at that clearance though. It's like an inch or two. Once we go back to the International Sp or damn it, the Kerbal Space Station. I'm going to have to get used to saying that. Um, <laughs> once we go to the Kerbal Space Station, why did it stop? Like for it? Oh, because we actually re-entered the atmosphere a little bit. So we're going to change that right here. So now we can fast forward. Wow, I can't believe it's going down. That's crazy. I hope that's not going down. No, that went up like a lot. <laughs> so once we come to the space station, yeah, the space station, what's going to happen is we're going to we're going to unload all the science there. Once we unload all the science, I'm going to fast forward with you guys so you can see what I'm doing and we will be able there we go now we're back in space okay so let's fast forward like we were doing um once we gather all that science we should be almost done with the tech tree that means that we could do a lot of things and that's when i want to actually like get into the sending satellites so i'll have specific videos for those made all right ready set fire Everything blows up. Shit. Boom. <laughs> if it did, that'd be Kerbal. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's Kerbal's fault. Okay, we can get rid of all of this. There we go. So now we're just going to wait for a Minmus uh, intersection, basically. We're going to basically cross, cross paths with it. But right now, let's fast forward just a little bit so this doesn't just take like a breaknecking of a long time. And we're gonna stop it when it gets like a little too much or like too fast. Okay, now that we can see it, I don't really. It's like I can't really see it from here, so we're gonna hit focus view since we're already in the right inclination with it right here. All we have to do is just get that closer. And since you're going really far away, so you're going to be going really fast, just dial this down to, oh, not zero. You can't do zero. Dial it down to like three or something, under five at least. That way it's not it's not too bad. You can at least stop it when you, like, when you want to or slow it down. So I'm going to stop it once it gets to about 20,000. 13. I'm good with 13. Let's go with 13. <laughs> so, we are actually going to get, like, a lot of science right now. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do the temperature, the all the other little experiments multiple times. Whoopsie. See, that's what happens when you hit the wrong button. Stupid pinky. And 13 again. Okay, we're going to keep with 13, and since... Let's just fast forward to right here. And where should we land? I'm thinking the it will come around again. Right here. I think we need to land on that nice flat area for the first round. 
just because hello how are you and I think the question of the day is damn it I keep doing it I would say the question of the day would be where has where mm, I don't know how to word it hmm anyway two things that we need to get from right here and close is two experiments we do not have a scientist so we can't reload the big one which kinda sucks but we can do the small ones uh, let's see the question of the day would have to be where was your furthest manned mission like have you gone to do none back have you gone to like where have you gone we're gonna rotate the craft so we can see all of the science gear on the back some people are probably going oh my gosh so to get this one since it says oh it's seismic scan blah 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 blah, blah. watch this uh, I can't be done no matter what anymore darn it um, you were able to click it because of the vibrations of it, but anyway, let's click this one. Let's log the temperature, the pressure scan, which is 30. Nice, nice. Um, we can do this one. Log the temperature. Wow. And we can do a crew report. We could even do an EVA as well. That's what we will do. As we come over here and get the science. We will do it with Jebediah this time. And yes, my orbit, I don't even have an orbit yet. So if that's what you're asking, then it is true. Or if that is what you're wondering, then yes, it is true. <laughs> the earth in the background. Nice, nice, nice. Take data. Take data. Nice. I got all the ones that I can get from right here right now. So I don't want to do any of the big ones yet because that would be kind of... It'd be kind of crappy we came all this way just to... Uh, just to, you know, just get one science and then go all the way back. No, we're going to get a whole bunch. And we will do an EVA report. Okay, so we're going to click on the, nope, not the engine tank. Nope, there we go. We're going to hit store all three experiments. And then now... We're just going to get back in. Fast forward till we hit about right here. And then we're going to slow this hunk of genius right here down. Slow it down so it's like almost going nowhere. Because Minmus is like super easy to get to. It's also, it's like, it's easier to get to than the Mon. I didn't even change my lander my lander since I put the stuff on it actually has 3,333 Delta V you can uh, okay well right now it has 290 which doesn't make any sense oh because it has that thing on it okay never mind but anyway let's circularize our orbit real quick bam that was very easy and it looks like we are already lined up for it, so let's just let's just keep burning. Okay, we are at five thousand. <laughs> that is very, very close. We will hit F five right here just to make sure nothing happens. And we are going to fast forward till we get to here. So we're basically gonna pass our lowest point, and our lowest point is going to be very very close to the ground. Like, 
I could spit and hit it. <laughs> I like how it zoomed up and then slowed down. That was kind of weird. But all right, let's fast forward just a little bit more. Get over this hill. Since we're only going, orbit speed is 173. That's that's nothing. And even if you want to, you can change it to surface speed because that's what you're gonna want to match, basically. Um, I've actually found out to uh, yeah we are still fast forward I'm waiting till we get over this because you've no idea how powerful this thing is <laughs> we'll watch that number go down and stop point six we did it at point six now we should just be going almost straight down almost <laughs> I said almost so what we're going to do is we're going to go very, 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 very close down. Very close, because I could actually land with this thing, but we wouldn't really be able to get back up there easy. So what we're going to do is once we hit uh, about 2,000 meters, I would say, we're going to uh, stop the fast forwarding. All right, so... Now we're going to boost all the way up, throttle all the way up, get that down to about 10. And then we're going to de- Ooh, that would have been weird and interesting at the same time. So we're going to decouple and stage the rocket too. And the engine. Okay, let's see the lander legs. Let's get the solar panels back in. Let's turn our lights on. Let's give a little boost just to check this engine, see if it's working. Of course it's working. Why wouldn't it be? Come on. So we're going to follow our shadow down just so we can see the ground pretty good. And that's going to explode. piece is just flying away. It is just gone. And we're just going to come in for a nice soft landing. Oop, a little bouncy. A little bouncy, and guess what I added, guys? A stinking... <laughs> ladder so I don't have to struggle career no it is full science mode on just regular so we don't have to deal with any blah blah, blah science and getting all mad about not having money 125 awesome uh, we don't need to open that yet let's let's turn the craft in the Sun so we can see it we can actually bring out our solar panels now there we go. Now we have all the experiments. Let's see, we can toggle the temperature again. We got 40 science. Ooh. We have the barometer. 60. Nice. We have the seismic, since we are on the ground. 100. Look at that. Ooh, it is detected. It is not completely frozen. Okay, so it's like a ball of fire that's just kind of frozen on top. <laughs> or the ice cream, or whatever you want to call it. We also have the surface scan, or the surface scan. We can run the analysis, analysis for this. We can actually get like a... I do believe it's like a little detailed map. Um, maybe. Oceans resources. I don't know. It just it said surface ore right here is eleven percent right now. So that's not bad. We should definitely uh for mining, let's mine here. <laughs> be definitely well be a heck of a lot easier. So let's do the nice main one with everybody. You observe the goo. That's it. I observed the goo. That that was all. For that experiment okay 
That's shocking. You'd think that they would have uh, something else. Like, you observed the goo. You found that it's frozen or something. Uh, all right. Anyway, that is 50. Let's do a career report. Oop, I forgot to take the stored data. Give me one second. Take data. Store data. And then hit board. And then, bam, we got another crew report. Voila! And we did forget to get science in the lower atmosphere, too, so... We are going to have to get that on our way back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually close our solar panels. Just so this thing doesn't break them. Which way do we need to rock? We need to rock that way. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, nope. I actually want to get the science first out of that because I don't know if that is... Ah, uh, cool. Blah, slow motion death. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know if uh, you could get this after it's detached. Like, shit, I might as well just make a rover out of this entire thing. <laughs> so collect data. Now that I don't have a scientist, I can't reuse it. That is quite fine because it is weighing my ship down. Let's climb back up. We will take... We will take all six and then store all six again. Now we'll be able to do another crew report on our way out. Uh, so we need to we need to lean forward. Okay, decouple node. And it shouldn't explode. It just should just kind of fly away. <laughs> so let's go and get all of the other information the data and everything else yeah it's so much easier than trying to uh yeah walking on sunshine whoa just kidding okay uh we could fast forward till we see earth which would be quite some time but let's Oh, we can now... I don't think we can pop it up now. Oh, we can. Cool. What happens? Can I open the solar panels too? Awesome. I didn't know I could do this from the outside, honestly. I've been playing this game so long, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> what I need is a ladder right here. That's what I need. Just, like, a ladder from in the middle of here just come down so I can climb up it and get all the science so I don't have to do this unless I can just kinda you know sit up here again yes I did it I'm just gonna sit up here from now on. <laughs> take that uh okay I wish I could get some out of that that'd be nice all right, let's get a surface sample. Let's get... Mm. Oh, that's what I have to do. There we go. I wanted to actually, like, show him. Okay. Take surface sample. Did, did it really just... Okay, it did take it. It's 150 science. Nice. Let's do an EVA report on the surface. 40. Nice. So now we're going to plant the flag. Bada boom. Wada bam. Alright, so site name. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what we named the other site on the moon forgot what it was like the first very site that we actually landed uh, I forgot what I said on it 
Um, okay, the plaque site. Or actually, hmm. What should I name this site? Minmus site? I guess I can change it later. So we'll just put Minmus. Site name is Minmus1. There we go. We'll start naming them now. <laughs> uh, the plaque. What should say the plaque? Uh, dig here. I think it should say dig here. Because we had 11. On this thing we had 11%. Or, yeah, 11%. Um, what should be the plaque name? We made it. Finally. Um... The journey begins. The quest begins. Uh, failure approaches. I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure what we should name it. Any suggestions on what we should name the plaque? Hmm. We shall name it. Damn, what should we name it? I'm just going to click OK. We'll name it later. If somebody wants to come up with a nice plaque text for me, that would be awesome. So I kind of wanted to take like a picture, but this thing's in the way. But I guess I already got a picture from earlier. <laughs> it looks like he's skipping. Okay, so we are ready to go. We are ready to get out of here. We're going to... Take all six, store all twelve, and you can see all of the blah, 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 blah coming in. And we're going to board the craft and get ready to go back home. Because we do still have a journey ahead of us. We will bring up the ladder as well. You like failures, uh, failure approaches. Oh, I guess I gotta change it at the, uh... I'll change it later, but I will change it to that. That I do like that as well. Uh, let's see. We just need to follow this 90 line right here. So in three, two... We can turn off the lights, and oh, I got you guys hyped, didn't you? All right, three, two, one, blast off. So we're going to go straight to the 90 line. And we're going to wait till we hit an altitude of 10,000. And this actually approaches very quickly because we've already hit it. So, yeah, just we can even see the flag. <laughs> So, all right, so we are going back up into orbit. I mean, look at that. We've, we're basically almost an eighth of the way there. We're just going to warp here. Oh, it stopped orbit. That's gay. Okay. So we're going to orbit this bad boy. We're going to go back home, and we are going to dock with the space station and make sure that we can gather as much science as possible because we are all about that science. No career, all science. Because I honestly found that the career wasn't like as, like not as fun, but like it's more demanding. You have to like listen to what they tell you to do, or you're not getting any further in the campaign. You also have to do like really stupid tests, like that you already just like you launched a craft that had the part, and you're like, do I really want to launch that again? Should I even launch that again? But I just don't really, I don't know. That Those are my feelings on career. I just do not like it. I don't like how it, uh, it like, it makes you, can I, oh, no, I can't, darn it. Unset his target. Can I target the mun? Uh, no, what just happened? I don't know what happened. 
No, not switch to. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, there's our flag on the mun. Ta-da! You can see underneath ground. That's weird. Okay, let's go back to map. Where are you? Come on. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, set focus view. Come on, I don't even think we're in orbit yet, guys. Switch to... We might have to make a an early... Yeah, we do. We gotta aim this sucker up, too. Okay. 7,000. Alright, we've made a closer approach before. So, so what we're going to do now is we are going to get... See, I wonder if I can not switch to just set as target. Okay, no, I can't. Because there's... It's like... I wanted to get the inclination because look at the inclination right now. This inclination is terrible. So, I mean, of course, if I did this, set as target, I could see where it's pinpointed and maybe fix it. Maybe? What is this? Ascending. So we need to descend. Okay, let's descend. Let's see if this works. Uh, no, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> ah! Unset his target. What is the hell is this? Oh, that's Elu. Why are we on Elu right now? <laughs> I think I just clicked off in the distance and it put me to Elu. Alright. <laughs> so let's find where I think would be... Okay. This is where I think we need to be to hit descend and fix... Kind of like fix our orbit a little bit better than what it was. Okay, let's see if it's going to fix it. Oh yeah, look at that. Bam. Okay, so now we're just going to kind of line it up with Earth a little better. Okay, that's a little bit, as my coworker says, more gooder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom out as far as we can go until we see the line that Minmus is following. There it is. So you want to make sure that you're... Basically that your screen and everything is lined up nice and perfectly. You want to zoom in really quick and then hit at about a 45 degree angle. So that is where you're going to want to... Right right around here is where you're going to want to go back. You're going to boost... You're going to burn prograde. And that's going to actually throw you back to Earth. So we're going to do that right now. Goodbye, Minmus. It was not nice knowing you. Because you are far away. So we are going to wait till this approaches. And then... Oh, come on, can I, can I, can I? There we go. Nope, nope, I didn't do it. There it is. I don't know if I did anything, or did I just make it worse? I may have just made it worse. So, <laughs> we're going to try to fix that on our way home. Or somewhere. We're going to try to fix it. But alright, so let's just keep burning until we hit a nice good point of 131. The reason why is because the space station is, is at 150,000. So what we're going to do now is we're not going to try to go like far, far out of range. We are going to see if we can click add maneuver. Oh wait, are we still close? Yes, we are. We're still close. Get the science. Get the science. Come on. Uh near Minmus. All right. 32 48 Another crew report, 20 and another EVA.
Oh, jeez. We're going to come back with literally thousands of signs. Like, I'm not even kidding you. We're going to take all and then store all. And then board. <laughs> so we do not have these yet. We do not have those two. So once we're in orbit, or once we can make sure that we are going to get there <laughs> on time. Oop, that is not the one we want. Oop, that's too far. Bam, that looks just right. Whoa, I didn't want to do that. Now where are we at? Okay. So it actually looks like I'm going to have to back out just a little bit. Maybe. I don't know, I can't see where the purple is. It's also bad about being far away. You can't see where your lines are at. And yeah, I don't have a... I don't have, I'm going into the planet right now. No, that's not the way I want to go. There, it is. that's better than anything. So, we'll keep it right there for now. At, what is it at? A million. It is at a million. Okay, that is a little too much but it fixed our uh, our orbit a little bit better and I actually kind of want to do that now let's see if we can do it earlier so all we're doing is going down yes okay that fixed it a hell of a lot more okay that's better than what it was all right that's way better than what it was so we're going to go to maneuver, and we're just actually going to do the burn right now. We're just going to kind of match it up with it. Just so that way we can not be like, oh, we're like 80,000 degrees off of the planet, and there's no way of coming back. But okay, so let's go back to all the way over here. We are not even going into the planet yet. So <laughs> uh, the next thing that we would do, I do believe it was this one. I don't know, we'll find out. Yes, that is widening our orbit. That is what we need to do. Just slightly till we get that right there and let's make that at a hundred and twenty two thousand okay so that's good let's let's come back home let's fast forward till we get about here bye min miss and we are off on our long journey back home So guys, we are close, rearing to the end. Closing to the end is what I was about to say. Good thing I didn't say that, because that would have made no sense at all. Okay, so let's click on this number, and this number out here. The sun is kind of blinding me. Okay, so we're at 48 million. Let's fast forward to here, and get ready to retrograde burn because we are going to stop basically we're going to stop I mean it's what is going to happen eventually I mean we have quite a bit of fuel left for this so <laughs> we could probably go to Mun and then come back maybe I don't know that'd be a uh, one hell of a moonlander, if you ask me. <laughs> so I'm getting ready for this thing to go shooting this way and this thing to shooting this way. Once it gets closer and closer and closer. Okay, now we're gonna stop it and get ready to once we're at 150 and below. Boom, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set KSS as target. We're gonna get that maneuver node that we were looking for, the this thing right here. So we would have been like 15 degrees off 
Yeah, let's not let's not do that. Cause that would just take forever to burn off and it would just it wouldn't be any fun at all. So let's warp here. And just do a little burn. I said little. Here's me doing full throttle. Yeah! And, uh, let's see. Getting ready to do this next one. And here we go. Okay. Alright, now this is the one that's going to line us up right, nice and right where we're supposed to be at. So, we can give it a little fuel. Okay, so now with that it's at 0, 0.0, we can now figure out and be like, alright, so of course the space station is definitely very far in front of us, and that's why I put it at 150,000. Why? Because, oh, let me make sure that I have my solar panels out. Nope, I got nothing. That figures. Doesn't matter because apparently when you fast forward, the batteries just stay like that. So you could probably do it on stock mode and just have like no batteries whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know. But alright, so we're going to double tap on the planet, Kerbin. And now we're just going to fast forward as fast as that little craft can. And what this guy is, is going to do is we're actually going to catch up to it. And I was thinking about putting it at 24,000 meters just so we could go a little bit faster. But that'd be like out here. And I think that's a little too far if you ask me for a space station. Because you want it kind of close to refuel and then go out. So 150 is not that bad. But once we start getting close here. So once we're about like right here like an inch about a real life inch away from it <laughs> so go ahead and slap that like button if you want uh, a rover to go to Mars or you can pick your planet and I'll see if I can go there with well I know I can go there I have all the tanks finally <laughs> which is so much better than having like none alright so this is kind of taking a little bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to tracking station that way we can fast forward just a little quicker instead of and we can get rid of the debris so it doesn't clog up the game and stuff okay so we're gonna click on this but we're actually gonna click on here as you can see there's no satellites in orbit or anywhere at all they're just around here <laughs> so let's fast forward quicker than we were so that's at 119 this is at 128 so once we are an inch away from it, it's going to be, we may have to fast forward a couple more times, but we'll be like right here. Well, once we get to the other side, I think I'll stop it there. Eh. I'll stop it right there. Because it looks like we're getting ready to pass it next orbit, but... I'm going to change the orbit. Whoa. I thought that was like a piece of debris floating. It was just uh, just my antenna. So yeah, good to know. Oh, come on. Where are the lights? There we go. They don't even shine on the vehicle at all. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> they just shine down at the ground. But okay, so let's re-target this thing. So 
its biggest point is at 150 and this is at 148. Surprisingly we still have yet to change that altitude. Because every single time I guess I keep forgetting. So let's fast, not fast forward, let's boost up a little bit, use some fuel until we get like a anything saying that oh we're gonna come close to it at this point in time or this point yeah you guys get it you guys there it is so we want to be at let's say 148 so that way we could be over here as well and let's see what happens if we go another orbit yeah, we're going to be way past it, so we're going to actually change it right there. So I actually think we're going to pass it right now. No, we're not going to pass it right now. We will pass it on the next trip. If it, if there is a next trip. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's fast forward just a little bit more. Now it's going to say that the same thing, This that is going to be over here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to burn that out a little bit until we reach a nice slowing point of... I'm looking over here because this is the separation between the crafts. 1.3... Yeah, 1.3. It's the minimum was like 1.2, but 1.3 is fine. So we're just going to fast forward all the way to this point right here, and we are going to watch this number distance go down. It's at 30,000 right now. 20,000. 10,000. 5,000. 2,000. 1,886, seven, it keeps going. All right, so now that we are in position to dock, we need to hide this thing so we can, come on, there it is. We're gonna hide this thing. We're gonna hit control from here. There it is over there. We're gonna hit this target. Er, that's surface. We're going to hit this target, and then we're going to follow the target. Now, watch this. I'm going to click the RCS, docking mode, and then that yellow we want to be lined up right with this. So we'll go left. It's actually easier if you rotate your craft, so you can get like the pinpoints even just looking at your craft, because sometimes it helps. So like we're going to go left. And now it's pulling it right, or it's pulling it back to the left. And we're also going to go down as well, or up. Okay, so now it's like that. We can just kind of like boost up to 5 meters per second and just kind of fast forward. It's, of course it's right in the sun, and all I see is a dot. And don't forget to switch your... Uh, Switch your quality to 1080p because that's what this is streaming at. So now that it says like, whoa, we are very far away from it, we're actually not. We're just going really slow. So if we go f like quicker, look where it's at now. So let's boost back up to like 3 meters per second or actually let's go to 5 or 4. That works too. Now we're going to fast forward until we get really close to it. So about like a hundred or so, because you don't want to be too far away from it and make an adjustment. It could be too late. So you, how you can always tell and just make sure that yellow and the pink is lined up. If that yellow and pink aren't lined up, you're not going toward the space station. You're going somewhere else, which isn't good, which is never good. <laughs> so we are going to actually, that airlock is open. So now we can slow down. We're going to go to this airlock. And 
And the last time we were having so much trouble with the airlock and everything, we're actually going to go like this just in case anything explodes, and we're also going to hit F5. <laughs> just a quick save and make sure everything's going to go nice. So I want to go down. I want to be level with it, so I'm actually going to do this by eye. As long as the pink and stuff is lined up, you're fine. So we need to come over... And I'm just kind of like readjusting how I'm going to enter it. Oop, wrong one. And then there we go. We need to come down a little bit. And then even ourselves out. Come in, add it nice and smooth. Even slow it down. Okay, speed it up a little bit. Not speed, but... You guys know. Cause I'm going to have this thing come in literally at like no meters per second. Because it had issues from last time. Okay, and turn RCS off. Turn SAS off. So, because I guess it's a super strong magnet. Doink! There we go, guys. All of a sudden, we have the ability to do whatever. <laughs> okay, so I don't really want to open that because then that will look weird. Let's review this data. 240 science. Look at that shit. Boom. Um, let's see, which what other one did we do out there? We did review the log temperature. 160 near Minmus. Uh, everything else we got inside the crew capsule, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, I will do an EVA with Jebediah, the main character of, like, I mean, this time I didn't kill him, so we'll take all 14, all 14, and we are going to go drop it off at the scientist's lab over here. So all we gotta do is click on it and then store experiments. Ba-boom! So, and then we can drop down, let go. Whoop, go down instead. And now we can find the entrance to the MK1-3 capsule which looks awesome it's got like the ladder and everything already oh board let's just board <laughs> that makes it easier so there's three people not three there's two people right now on there so we need to for one turn off the lights make sure this thing is non-operational anymore and we're going to take him, I'm going to take Bill out. We're going to bring him down to the space station, or the escape pod. Whee! Okay. I should just be able to hit board. Oop, nope, just F. There we go. F then board. All right, so we're gonna board, and then now that we are still in here, we're going to, <laughs> okay, review data. This is all the science that we gathered here. So this is from the ground of the flats. This is the material study. We have 625. Eve report, just above mid miss, 160. Crew report, 100. I'm just gonna start naming them, 200. 750 holy crap surface sample <laughs> the mystery goo is 250 the pressure scan uh, on minmus was 300 uh, a seismic scan was 100 science but it is now 500 science because we're doing it through here 200 science and ooh we can't go anymore. We actually have a cap right now of 750 science. And 
it's literally 100 science is 500 science. So by the time these guys are done, I will have 500. And I will actually show you what is going on. And we are just going to keep, 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 and keep, keep again. So now that they are all like that, we are going to disengage right here. Make sure we're on this one. <laughs> Activate everything. Make sure we are in docking mode. I did add thrusters, like side thrusters. We're not using the those yet, I guess. So what we're doing is we're just getting away from the space station. And then we're going to turn. Might as well use all of it, right? <laughs> And then we're going to go full speed ahead. Oops. It would help if I turn the engine on. There we go. Bye, space station. Because I just want these guys back on the ground. And wow, we kind of did that a little too much. So, all right. We're coming down <laughs> very quickly. Oh, I told you to... Eh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Open your gear back up. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going to have him open all of his gear. Oh, we are in space. That's right. So what we need to do now is we need to rotate. We're going to rotate here. Oop, decouple. Decouple. There it is. And then we're going to keep ourselves right there. By using RCS too, so I don't even know if it would actually work. Let me see. Let me turn it on. Turn the RCS on. I don't know. I love the re-entry heating from, this, from these plates now. They're so cool. They're like little heat spikes. I think that was... Honestly, yeah, that was, uh, we just missed. Oh, that thing's exploding. <laughs> it wasn't me. Let's just fast forward. We all know what this is like. I want to get to the ground and show you guys. Looks like we're going into the ocean. Stop. Time for... Oh, look at that work. Alright, now we can turn the RCS off. Turn that off. Hit the drogue chutes. Aha, it looks like I forgot them, but I didn't. I hid them under the docking port, so it looks like that, instead of, like, crap. Like on the side of it. Like I couldn't figure out because I was covering windows and stuff. And I'm not having that. So we're actually going to wait a little bit longer. And then... Pull out, pull out the mains because that was... It was very loud too. <laughs> so actually let's do this. Let's do another crew report. Gather that science data. Oh, too bad I wasn't higher. I should have done it higher. I could have jumped out with a, with a Kerbal. Darn. Oh well. Well, we're gonna touch down here. Alright, so we touched down, and now we are going to. Look at that. Thing's like floating on it. <laughs> we're actually just gonna do another EVA report. And we're actually gonna take the surface sample of water. Nice. And do an EVA report over the water. And then we're going to board, and then we're going to recover. So we're only coming back with a very, 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 very low amount of science, 104. All right, so that's not all of our science. All right, so let's go into the... Oh, it's nighttime. But let's go into the tracking station, and let's save 
fast forward about 50 days, all right? Now, you got to remember, they're working. These guys are working right now on the on the science in the space station. So we're just going to fast forward a whole bunch of days right here. So we'll go to 160. So now we'll click on the space station. Hit fly. And this is what I did after I came back from the month. I did this like, I think, four or five times. It wasn't that bad. But look at this, 499 science. And then let's transmit the data. And look, we have room for... And then, well, we'll let it transmit. Let's, how's our electrical doing? It's actually drawing quite a bit of it. Let's actually rotate the craft and get it to where it can see more. So now it's kind of fighting the electrical right now. We got a lot of batteries on here being drained. Okay, done. So you definitely have to make sure you have enough battery power to uh, withstand that. So we do have more room for more science. Let's go another 100. And we need only stored 20. Or wait, 20 data stored. Okay. So we're just going to have to keep, 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 and keep again. So back to the tracking station. We're going to do this a couple times. And fast forward another, I don't know, 30 days, 40 days, 50 maybe. And that's why I am at two years now, and I don't have billions of crafts and everything. Okay. We should have 500, 500 uh, science on it now. If it loads. No, I'm joking. Yeah, 489. Okay, that's not bad, not bad. So we'll transmit the science while we're still in, uh... Still in communications with this thing right here. I feel like this should have been turned, and those should have been out. But, I don't know. Once we get all of the uh, stuff, this is just a temporary space station. That's why it's still small. It was just basically to test out more like these two, because the airlock and stuff. I thought it was really cool. So we got more science now. Let's 150, 125, 60, 100. So now we have, uh, it's, I don't know if it got rid of, or if we just like, or if one of the Kerbals stole it or something. I, I'm not sure. Uh, it says clean to experiments. Oh, I think it meant, yeah, it meant this. And these two. Oopsie. That's fine. It doesn't take much. But now that it's regaining, uh, let's manually fast forward it so it can gain a lot of electricity before we do the next one. And now it's going to die. Okay, what we can also do is to save electricity, is turn off all the lights, and let this thing just float. We're not using much, we're still using five because they are doing research. So they basically have all the main power right now. So let's just keep, keep doing this. I wish I could just keep it on and just gain all the science that is needed, but nope, apparently you can't do that. They want you to, uh, keep doing this fast forwarding fast forwarding oh we got some objects in our uh like at earth it was literally at earth so it's nice to see that though so you guys know when you start look for that to come up within like a year or two see now this thing's all sorts of weird all right that will be fine should be. Still regaining. 
So let's kind of just fast forward just a little bit. Just so that way, like, because I know we're going to go on the dark side. So start research, or start scanning, that's what it was. Start transmitting, not scanning. <laughs> Alright, and 100%, alright. It's another 100%, cool. Wait, resume flight. I wanted to see if there was, like, a, any of the stored stuff, because I don't think level up crew. I don't know, I could... But no astronauts on board are already gained to experience. Well, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Alright, so let's go back. Tracking station. So I just want to make sure you guys know that I did not cheat when getting science. I did it the smart way and only went to Mun and Minmus. In total, I left Earth basically three times. That was it. And I'm basically going to be done with the tech tree. <laughs> I feel like the more times you do this, the quicker it gets. Or the slower it gets. Never mind. Okay, 499. Looks like we're coming up at the right time. Looks like we still have... Oh, 2,000 to collect. So transmit science. Can they make it? Can they make it? Oh, they made it. Oh my gosh, they made it with like a hundred to spare. Jeez. Where's the sun? Okay. We need to not be fast forwarding, and we need to be like... Nope, over... Like here. So that way we have... Uh, it all the time. Since this thing is actually non-operational anymore, we're just going to detach that because we don't, we don't need it anymore. So we're just going to go to tracking station. We're just going to delete that so it doesn't break the space station. So goodbye, little craft. I swear if I had Kerbals on there and I just killed them, then that sucks. So we're going to go another 50 or so days. Time is up here. Okay. Looks like we're going to be doing this just a couple more times. And then we should be good. Alright. Transmit science. I swear, does this seem like not doing anything with electrical at all and it just sucks definitely more batteries guys definitely more batteries or even better let's do it like this and then rotate it so it's like that that way there's sun hitting it all the time okay so now it's done We gotta make sure that these guys are still... Okay, they're still doing science. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> so we'll go another 50 days. So we're on year three. We'll be on day 100. And the more science that you actually put in it, the faster it will go. So you'll see its daily rate of right here of 6.2. So once I check it again, it will be even lower because they're running out of like a lot of science to, to do. So, okay, there is no way that that is going to transmit. It's just going to, yeah, it's just going to stop. We need to uh, get some electric charge because it seems like every single time we do this we're going around the dark side <laughs> so yes yeah, so let's fast forward a little bit wait till we have full electrical charge 
now we can transmit the science, not have an issue, and done. And look, we're already at 100%. There we go, that's how it's supposed to be done. Okay, tracking station. We have, I would say, about one more, just because it gets, it starts getting very, very, very slow nearing the end, just because it doesn't have, like, a lot of science to do. They don't... <laughs> It's like get you getting one piece of work and say, make that last you a week. You're going to do it very slow. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to wait to 200 days. Okay, looks like we're on the dark side again. We got 499, we got full electronic charge, transmit science. We're just gonna fast forward, watch 70, done. Okay, so now if you look at the time, like how many they're doing a day, it's three. So it went, it went down by a total of two. So if you only put 100 science in there, it's they're not really gonna go very quick. Um, alright, so let's stop it. So I do believe that we are finally done with going to, well, not going to, but going, coming back here to the damn space station. So 264. It's not a lot. We can actually, I want to get that full 500, so we'll actually wait like a whole damn year. All full fast forwarding and let's see how many asteroids actually hit earth because look at this I mean they're just coming in left and right at like your third year I think it's every almost every like year that one's coming in from afar look at all these it might be a good option to uh Definitely look at your, uh, like a big telescope or something, or you know what I'm saying, like, so you can track these and see if you can't get one to orbit, like, with you, because that would be, that'd be really cool. I mean, I had that opportunity once and never, never actually did it. Just kind of left it, left it how it was. Just said, go away. Okay, so we got another four and five hundred, I would say, and we have barely electronic charge. We have enough to do it though, so we're gonna do it. It's the last one we're doing since we only have fifty-six science, fifty-six data left. So what we're gonna do with this space station is actually deorbit it, but it looks like I need enough crew members for four crews. So that is going to be strange to do. Okay, so we got it's just done. All right, so let's go to Space Center. Let's see, it's gonna be up here. Let's see how much science we got. Probably a ridiculous amount. 4,400, wait, wow, 4,046 science. That is crazy amount of science right there guys that is literally just ridiculous I mean of course each of these cost 500 but like specialists we finally got the big battery source what are these the experimental ones we don't really need the experimental ones just yet but we need this one and this the control units bigger components smaller stuff oh look at all of it it's like Christmas uh, even the this is it right here this is your science maker the negative graviola detector because this thing just, just oh my gosh it just hoarders in science like I'm gonna put it on the craft and we will actually go back to Minmus and we're actually just gonna come right back we're not gonna do that right now 
But it looks like we have 996 left. So let's just get the little grabbing unit for 160. Let's... I'm not really into the nuclear. Let's get the giant heat shield because that's going to come in handy later on. And we also have field science. Ooh, but what is this one? Advanced motors. I don't really use that too often, but I do want these new wheels. So we will cl click 300. We have 236. We might as well get this up to par. 160. Ooh. Better engine or more... Ooh, that's tough. That is tough. Oh, we can't even do it. That's right. Ha! Huh. Joke's on me. All right. Thank you for watching. Please slap a like if you liked anything that you saw here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell. You guys all have a great day. Let's see ya.